what the fuck is a friend? I went and doubled this shit up, now my Rick has a band, yeah. I'm still on my 10, no more looking back now, I'm giving this shit all I can. I can see you in my roof, you call me a one, I won't let you do that again. I don't get no fuck about your man, that shit don't got nothing to do with me, ho, I'm just saying. I know how to start. Alright, go ahead and introduce yourself. It's your boy, LSE Chase, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Y'all checking in, real talk. I appreciate that. So what does LSE stand for? That's Lifestyle Entertainment or Lifestyle Empire, whichever one you want to create. Nice. Is that going to be like just an entertainment company or a record label? Or a yeah, it's like my label. Like I'm signing myself right now until somebody else want to come with the bag or whatever. I'm sticking myself with the independent route. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So that's just my brand. I'm trying to just keep building it, just keep adding to it. You know what I'm saying? It's rappers on LAC, you got producers, engineers, everybody have emotions. Like, see, we just are trying to put it together and make it bigger than what it already is. Nice. So, if an artist comes to you and they want to be a part of LAC, like, what are you looking for to get um, to sign someone? It's like, you gotta, you wanna be with LAC. It's like, we already got our folk who we locked in with, so right. it's like, we trying to get ourselves off the ground first. Right. So, once we get ourselves off the ground, of course, I'm gonna be trying to sign folks and stuff. So if, if I feel like if I see another young nigga got talent or doing, remind myself of me and how I grind, then shit, why not sign him? Got you. And one of your songs you said, um, "Don't get me out of my element." What gets you out of your element? Well, what gets me out of my element sometimes when I say that is just like these folks gotta really recognize what's going on. And when I feel like I'm getting slept on, I feel like I'm not getting the recognition I'm getting, I get out of my element. So y'all don't want to see me get out of my element. I'ma really go hard and it's gonna be over with for everybody else. Y'all just not gonna be able to get in the game. Uh, I'm gonna set the bar so high, it's gonna be got uh, crazy. You know what I'm got you. What is your suggestion for newcomers, people trying to come up in the music business? Shit, man, stay stay independent as long as you can, man. These folk really the weird. Like, all this shit really the weird. All this shit the cup, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. So, shit, just stay independent, man, if you really want to get a bag. Now, if you want the fame and shit, go ahead, do what you do, you know what I'm saying? Take the, take the easy route. But I'm standing in it for longevity because I really want that big bag. And I came from that, for real. So, I'm facts. grinding for something. Facts, facts. So, how do you stand out amongst other artists? My voice stand out, shit. Now, that's a good question. I say I can make a song like out of nothing. Like, I can freestyle, right? If I'm in the studio, shit, I'm just gonna be going crazy. Like this shit's gonna be coming out. It's like it's not, it's not nothing I have to practice for real. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this shit just be coming. Like, how the fuck I even just said this shit? Like damn, <laughs> this shit be crazy. So I feel like that'll be that'll be something that stand out, shit. Nice. What hip hop albums did you grow up listening to? What I grew up listening to. Shit, I grew up listening to a lot of shit. We got uh, a lot of Atlanta shit, you know what I'm saying? My Gucci, Shot Low, shit, Shot Boy, J Money, you know what I'm saying? When I was young, young, then when I started getting a little older, you know what I'm saying? Rich Kid, Young Thug, Rich Homie, Guapo, you know? Like shit like that, Shot the God, shit like that. Yeah, shit. Then, like, you know what I'm saying? The Future and shit, you know what I'm saying? All the, all, all the Atlanta shit, you know what I'm saying? Got gotcha. you. If budget wasn't the limit, who would be two artists you like to collab with? Collaborate with, I collaborate with, um, I say Future. Shit, it got, uh, nigga gotta have a Future verse on the song. <laughs> it's just like, and then I feel like a nigga really on, on, once you get that Drake verse, you know what I'm saying? That when a nigga like, okay, buddy done took off, he just got right. a verse from Drake, you know what I'm saying? It seems like your vibe is kind of like a blend of singing and rapping. Um, are you into blending genres? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I make, I can make all kind of music. Like I like, I like to harmonize a little bit on the track. Like I can make, I can make a trap song for just a street nigga, or a song for a nigga and his wife. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or when you take a vacation or some shit. Like I just, I'm so versatile with this shit. I feel like that's probably another thing that that separates me too from other people. Like how versatile I am. Right. Like, I'm not just no, alright. This the type of this type of song. That went, so I'ma just stick with it. Shit, I might make another song like that, but I might make ten more other songs that's completely different. Like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You might click one of my songs, and it ain't gonna sound the exact same as the last one. You get what right. I'm saying? Like, so how are you mentally dealing with the pandemic and all the political issues taking place right now? Bring it up, I've been on the planet. You know what I'm saying? We blessing this bitch. <laughs> Shit going crazy. I fuck with the pandemic. Hey man, shout out Trump. Still fuck that nigga with shout out Trump, man. We getting money. Love this shit. 
<laughs> Keep this shit, man. Y'all folks stay six feet away from me. I don't want to see none of y'all folks, man. Unless it's your hoe. You get what I'm saying? Even her ass got to stay back six feet. You got to suck that from over there, son. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, any any planned upcoming releases, singles, music videos? Hell yeah, yo, I got so much shit on the way. It's, it's just crazy. Like I can't wait. I can't wait to get it to him. I ain't even gonna say like no name. Me and my boy Shway, we got some shit on the way, you know what I'm saying? Me and Mamar got some shit on the way. We just got shit on the way. Nice, that's what's up. What's up? Alright, so how can we uh, get a hold of your music and follow you on social media? Follow me on Instagram, one chase bank underscore. All my music is on our platforms. You gotta look up LSC Chase. Um, yeah, mostly LSC Chase. Some people, like if I put into a DJ, he might put Chase Bank or something, but you know what I'm saying? You still find LSC Chase. Our platform. Got it. And how'd you get the stage name Chase? That's my real name, Chase. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's my real name. <laughs> All right, so I do appreciate your time. All right. Real talk, Where the fuck man. is a friend? I went and double this shit on my real cause of being, yeah. I'm still on my 10, I'm more looking back now, I'm giving this shit all I can. I can see you in my room, you call me a one, I won't let you do that.